and uh, we welcome Deputy Owen O'Brien. Thank you, uh, Kian Korla. Uh, Minister, yesterday Cabinet approved the defective concrete block remediation bill. After months of delay, homeowners affected by pyrite, mica and pyrotite have sight of the government's intentions. Tomorrow, as you know, the Housing Committee will sit for six hours to scrutinise the general scheme. We will hear from homeowners, experts uh, and officials. Uh, I have to say it is disappointing that the full bill has not yet been published uh, in advance uh, of those meetings. Uh, and it is also deeply concerning that government is allowing just three weeks for the full passage of the legislation. This is a complicated bill. It comes with a price tag of up to and possibly exceeding three billion euros. And there is real concern that government will not give adequate time for full committee consideration of the bill uh, over the next number of weeks. This concern is shared by homeowners and it should also concern taxpayers who are being asked to foot the bill. Uh, nobody in this House wants to delay the passage of the legislation, uh, but surely we all want to get it right. As it stands, in our view, the legislation is not fit for purpose. It is itself defective. Like the homes it promises to fix, it is filled with cracks and holes. And like those homes, it stands on very weak foundations. It will not provide 100% redress for many homeowners. The formula for calculating costs is deeply flawed. The proposals for addressing cost inflation are wholly inadequate. The exclusion of foundations is contrary to the science. There are no mechanisms for penalty-free downsizing. There is no clarity on meeting current building and energy efficiency regulations. There are concerns that homeowners will be denied demolition and rebuild, even where that is the most sensible option. There are fears that the damage threshold will exclude many affected households. And there are concerns that the appeals process may not be fully independent. And just as the bill has been delayed, many are worried too that so will the subsequent regulations. And this means that the new scheme may not be open and available for application until 2023. I also wonder why the review of IS465, which of course underpins the scheme, will not be concluded in parallel with the bill, if it will also be delayed and whether it will address key issues such as foundations and pyrotite. These are all genuine concerns expressed in recent days by affected homeowners. Families who have lived in the most appalling and stressful of conditions for over a decade. Families who have been repeatedly failed by government. And families who are urging all of us to work together to get the bill right this time. Minister, ultimately responsibility for defective buildings lies with industry, with road quarries, block manufacturers, and in other cases with contractors. But government is also to blame. Light touch regulation introduced by Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael in the 80s and 90s created the context in which such rogue operators could flourish and survive. But thankfully, we now have the opportunity to clean up that mess, to do right by homeowners, and crucially, to deliver 100% redress. So, Minister, my question to you is very simple. Will you commit to working with all of us on the Oireachtas Housing Committee over the next three and a half weeks to ensure we address all of these issues and give the homeowners of the affected counties a redress scheme that they so desperately need and so rightly deserve? Thank you, Deputy O'Brien. Minister. Yeah, thank you, Deputy O'Brien, for your, for your question and for raising this really important issue with regard to defective block. And as you rightly say, this is a very complex and very detailed piece of legislation. It's not delayed, by the way. There's been with it weekly, if not daily, engagement with homeowners. Indeed, I, I endeavoured to engage with opposition parties. I wrote to you directly, uh, as you'll know, with many detailed questions a number of months ago that you committed publicly that you'd respond to, which you have not, and that is fine. Um, and that is your want, and that's okay. Let's just look at what the fundamentals of this scheme is. It will be 100% redress. We've upped the caps from 247,500 to 420,000. We've allowed significant additional uh, costs such as storage, rental, uh, and also removing the barrier to access the scheme, which is homeowners are paying up to six, 7,000 euro heretofore. Uh, and those, those payments have been refunded uh, to most who have paid in. So we've done that already. We're reducing uh, that cost to about 500 euro. Now to answer your question uh, directly, 
I will, of course, uh, work with all opposition parties, and I'm glad you're engaging now on it, um, albeit uh, uh, somewhat delayed, but that is welcome, uh, because this is an important piece of legislation. And I think, to be fair to the Joint Directors Committee, uh, there's been a sensible approach to it with regard to ensuring that we have hearings tomorrow uh, from the affected homeowners group, as well as other experts uh, within this field, to be able to get their views, which, by the way, uh, I've received right the way through this process. And you'll know this, uh, that John O'Connor, uh, the former chief executive of the Housing Agency, who's been the designated liaison between myself and the residents, has, has met and with homeowners group actually the day last week um, that, we brought, that I brought the first memorandum to government. It is a greatly improved scheme. It needs to be grounded in legislation. The previous scheme, which I know back in 2020 all parties, including your own, uh, gave a guarded welcome to, was insufficient. And I gave a commitment to homeowners in all affected counties and others who may be affected that we would greatly improve that scheme to provide 100% redress. Not only to do that, not only to do uh, uh, principal private residences, but to extend it also to one other property that's RTB registered as well, uh, to look at the guarantee. The guarantee now is 40 years, okay, to allow a second home grant. So if options two to five are selected, which is the replacement of the outer leaf or indeed inner leaf or a combination of both, uh, that the guarantee will be given by the state and you will have access to the scheme again, okay? And that's really important. Uh, extending the guarantee to 40 years is really important. And to deal with the issue of piratise and infill, and, and I, I know that many of the, the concerns that you've raised, you're raising without seeing the piece of legislation. And as you know, you and other members of the Joint Directors Committee will be receiving a detailed briefing in advance of the hearings. And that's been arranged already. Um, and in that space, what we, will, what we will endeavour to do is work the way through uh, the process. We do need this legislation through by the summer. There is no question of anyone trying to railroad it through. It has not been delayed. What has happened is we've taken on board all the, all the very legitimate concerns and points to improve this scheme. And let's be very clear, this is a, a, a significant uh, intervention by government in this space to the tune of at least 2.7 billion. You may not have seen this as well. The inflationary measures are built in, where I as minister or any future minister can go back to the House for the next three years and increase the rates by a further 10%. And if we see, obviously, rates going the other way, that will be addressed too. I want people to get their homes back on track and I want them to get their lives back on track. And I'm absolutely committed to working through over the, over the remaining weeks of this session, to working through this le legislation in cooperation Thank with you, opposition minister. parties and indeed government members Who've who have been engaging on this too, to have a scheme that's fit for purpose for residents in the affected counties and other counties. Thank you very much. Deputy O'Brien. Thank you, uh, uh, Minister. Uh, as you know, people living in cracking and crumbling homes uh, are not interested in petty political point scoring. They want us to get the legislation right. And not only have I read the general scheme, but I've actually had uh, informal briefings with your officials uh, on the content of the as yet uh, uh, unpublished bill. So I'm as across that as I can be without having uh, read it. Tomorrow, homeowners from Clare, Mayo and Donegal will present to the Oireachtas Housing Committee. And they will set out all of the concerns that I have just listed here. And they will be telling our committee that the bill, as it currently stands, will not work. They will urge us and you to address these concerns during the passage of the bill by way of further amendments. So what I'm asking you is to display a willingness not just to work through the legislation, but where homeowners are raising legitimate concerns, where scientific experts are raising legitimate concerns, that you will commit to working with us to craft appropriate amendments on all of the issues that I have outlined to ensure that when this bill passes, hopefully by the end uh, of this session, it is the right bill to provide the right redress to the thousands of affected homeowners. Thank you very much, Deputy Minister O'Brien. Can I assure the Deputy, as I've done in, in all pieces, pieces of legislation that I've brought before this House, many of which uh, I've received support from opposition benches for, that I will certainly work through uh, the legislation, that we will consider any amendments to it as we move through the process. I think as well it is fair to say that the hearings tomorrow will give an opportunity for, uh, for, for residents to put forward their views. There's been guarded welcomes in some quarters for this. I think everyone would accept it is a greatly improved scheme. Uh, it is founded in a very robust piece of legislation. 
But the whole purpose of it coming through the Oireachtas, both Dáil and Shannon, is to seek views from opposition parties, to look at amendments, which we will look at. And I wasn't trying to score any petty political points with you, Deputy. I was just simply outlining the fact that I endeavoured to engage with you earlier in this process. You gave a commitment to respond as to what the Sinn Féin position was, and you didn't do that. That's all. But I can tell you now that you are engaged. I would be more than happy to do that with you, with Labour, with Sock Dems, Independents, and my government colleagues. And I believe Thanks, that Minister. we can work this through to provide the basis for a greatly improved scheme that government have brought forward and to get the legislation passed by the summer recess so people can get on with getting their homes remediated and getting their lives back on track. Thank you very much.